great to have you back in the Dreambox neighborhood. Have fun on your learning adventures. Welcome. Have fun exploring, matey. Help Barnacle Beard find his missing pirate, Smelly Magoo, and his lost treasure. Would you like to play this story? <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Avast! You're just in time to catch some fish with the crew. Captain, Captain, I've caught something. What is it? A bottlefish? Let me see that, lad. It's not a fish at all. Hmm. Seems to be a message in a bottle. Shiver me timbers, I can't believe it. It's a note from our long lost shipmate, Smelly Magoo. He disappeared years ago after we had him hide some treasure of ours. Oh, I remember him. What does it say? It says he buried the treasure on Crossbone Island like he was asked to and drew off a map so we could find it. Then, as he was returning to us, Peg Like Meg found him and demanded the map to the treasure. Before she could get him, Smelly tore it off and threw the pieces into the wind where they floated to different parts of Crossbone Island. She got so mad that she couldn't find the treasure that she left him shipwrecked on Crossbone Island where he has been ever since. What say ye? Can you help us find our friend and get our treasure back? Smelly's note said the pieces of the map are hidden all over Crossbone Island. We have to find those pieces to lead us to the treasure. Hopefully, we'll find Smelly too. Let's get to Crossbone Island and start searching for map pieces. Yarr! an area to search for the pieces of Smelly Magoo's map. Click the games along the path to play them. You found a token! Multiplication pictures. Let's play. This is a whale of a game, it is. <laughs> How many pink cakes? Type the number of pink cakes here and then click Done. Way to go! Here's one way to think about this. Three groups of five makes fifteen. How many purple light bulbs? Right on! Here's one way to think about this. Two groups of four makes eight. Awesome! Two groups of four makes eight. Let's try some where I ask you to find the total and describe the groups. How many yellow stars? Type the number of yellow stars here and then click Done. Good job! What is one way to record how these items are organized? Type your idea here, and then click Done. How many pink cakes? Awesome! What is one way to record how these items are organized? <coughs> Woohoo! Good job working with multiplication pictures. Great work! Now we can see if there's treasure around here. Click the game on the path you want to play.
super job. You found an adventure friend. You Multiplication pictures. Let's play. Let's go play a math adventure. How many green planets? Type the number of green planets here and then click done. Good job. Here's one way to think about this. 2 times 6 equals 12. How many soccer balls? Awesome! Here's one way to think about this. 2 times 3 equals 6. Eureka! 2 times 6 equals 12. Let's try some where I ask you to find the total and describe the groups. How many oranges? Type the number of oranges here and then click done. Good job! What is one way to record how these items are organized? Type your idea here. How many green planets? Right on! What is one way to record how these items are organized? Excellent! Good job working with multiplication pictures. Shiver me, Timbers. You did it. Let's search for a piece of the map. Multiplication pictures. Let's play. R, give this one a try. Can you find the number of oranges, even if I cover some of them? Type the number of oranges here, and then click Done. Eureka! Here's one way to think about this. Four groups of five makes twenty. How many green planets? Eureka! Here's one way to think about this. Two groups of six makes twelve. Right on! Four groups of nine makes thirty-six. Let's try some where I ask you to find the total and describe the groups. How many yellow stars? Type the number of yellow stars here and then click Done. Awesome! What is one way to record how these items are organized? Type your idea here and then click Done. How many pink gems? Eureka! What is one way to record how these items are organized? Awesome! Good job working with multiplication pictures. Well, you blew me away again, didn't ya?
Good work. We found a piece of the map. <laughs> Pick another area to continue playing this story. You start multiplying. Let's play. Let's go play a math adventure. Choose any tile you want and drag it to the basket. You built one group of six. Now, build two groups of six. Then click done. What's the total of two groups of six? Type the total here and then click OK. Choose a tile. You built one group of three. Now, build five groups of three. Then click Done. Type the total here. Nice job using tiles to multiply. Great job! Start multiplying. Let's play. This is a whale of a game it is. <laughs> Choose any tile you want and drag it to the basket. You built one group of two. Now, build ten groups of two. Then click Done. <laughs> What's the total of ten groups of two? Type the total here and then click OK. Choose a tile. You built one group of four. Now, build eleven groups of four. Then click Done. <laughs> Type the total here. Nice job using tiles to multiply. Arr, you're a fine mathematician, you are. <laughs> Multiplication pictures. Let's play. This is one of Peg Leg Meg's favorite. <laughs> Can you find the number of pink cakes? Even if I cover some of them, type the number of pink cakes here and then click Done. Good job! Here's one way to think about this. 2 times 5 equals 10. How many pink gems? Woohoo! Here's one way to think about this. 2 times 6 equals 12. Excellent! 2 times 6 equals 12. Let's try some where I ask you to find the total and describe the groups.
How many soccer balls? Type the number of soccer balls here and then click done. Good job! What is one way to record how these items are organized? Type your idea here and then click done. How many green planets? Good work! What is one way to record how these items are organized? Awesome! Good job working with multiplication pictures. Arr, now that was some very fine work. We found a piece of the map. Pick another area to continue playing this story. Let's search for a piece of the map. Animal jumpers. Let's play. Give this one a try. I'll show you some jumps made by a mystery animal. You decide which animal made the jumps. You can try your ideas by dragging the animal tile to the try it box. Then click try it. When you know the mystery animal, drag it to the answer box. Then click done. Give it a try. When you know the mystery animal, drag it to the answer box and click done. To try a different animal, drag this one back to the tray. When you know the mystery animal, drag it to the answer box and click done. To try a different animal, drag this one back to the tray. Way to go! Five jumps of four lands on twenty. Find the mystery animal that made these jumps. Way to go! Five jumps of eight lands on forty. Find the mystery animal that made these jumps. Eureka! Five jumps of twelve lands on sixty. Find the mystery animal that made these jumps. Way to go! Three jumps of eight lands on twenty-four. Find the mystery animal that made these jumps. Right on! Three jumps of eleven lands on thirty-three. Let's try some with the multiplication symbol. Which animal lands on 15 after 3 jumps? Drag the animal to the answer box. Then click done. Woohoo!
Woohoo! One way to represent this is 3 times 5 equals 15. Find the mystery animal that made these jumps. Woohoo! One way to represent this is 5 times 12 equals 60. Nice job playing animal jumpers. <laughs> Great work. You found animal jumpers. Let's play. R matey, give it a go. I'll show you an animal and where the animal stopped jumping. You decide how many jumps the animal took. You can try your ideas by dragging the number of jumps tile to the try it box. Then click try it. When you know the number of jumps, drag the tile to the answer box. Then click done. Give it a try. When you know the number of jumps, drag the tile to the answer box and click Done. To try a different number, drag this one back to the tray. Three jumps of four lands on twelve. How many jumps? Two jumps of four lands on eight. Let's try some with the multiplication symbol. How many jumps does cat need to make to land on twelve? One way to represent this is two times six equals twelve. How many jumps? One way to represent this is 2 times 5 equals 10. Nice job playing animal jumpers. Avast, you did it. Animal jumpers. Let's play. Give this one a try. I'll show you some jumps made by a mystery animal. You decide which animal made the jumps. You can try your ideas by dragging the animal tile to the Try It box. Then click Try It. When you know the mystery animal, drag it to the Answer box. Then click Done. Give it a try. Way to go! 9 jumps of 10 lands on 90. Find the mystery animal that made these jumps. Good job! Seven jumps of seven lands on 49. Let's try some with the multiplication symbol. Which animal lands on 96 after eight jumps? Drag the animal to the answer box, then click done. Awesome! One way to represent this is 8 times 12 equals 96. Find the mystery animal that made these jumps.
Way to go! One way to represent this is 8 times 11 equals 88. Nice job playing animal jumpers. Arr, you're a fine mathematician, you are. Look, a piece of the map. Pick another area to continue playing this story. You found a token! Animal jumpers! Let's play! Let's get started! I'll show you an animal and where the animal stopped jumping. You decide how many jumps the animal took. You can try your ideas by dragging the number of jumps tile to the Try It box. Then click Try It. When you know the number of jumps, drag the tile to the Answer box. Then click Done. Give it a try. Nine jumps of nine lands on eighty one. How many jumps? Eight jumps of six lands on forty eight. Let's try some with the multiplication symbol. How many jumps does deer need to make to land on 110? <coughs> One way to represent this is 10 times 11 equals 110. How many jumps? One way to represent this is 7 times 10 equals 70. Nice job playing animal jumpers. Avast, you did it. Let's search for a piece of the map. Animal jumpers. Let's play. Let's get started. I'll show you some jumps made by a mystery animal. You decide which animal made the jumps. You can try your ideas by dragging the animal tile to the Try It box. Then click Try It. When you know the mystery animal, drag it to the Answer box. Then click Done. Give it a try. Woohoo! One way to represent this is 7 times 12 equals 84. Find the mystery animal that made these jumps. Good work! One way to represent this is 2 times 8 equals 16. Let's try some with division symbols. Which animal lands on 81 after 9 jumps? Drag the animal to the answer box. Then click Done. Awesome! One way to represent this is 81 divided by 9 equals 9. Find the mystery animal that made these jumps.
When you know the mystery animal, drag it to the answer box and click Done. To try a different animal, drag this one back to the tray. Eureka! One way to represent this is 40 divided by 10 equals 4. Find the mystery animal that made these jumps. Woohoo! One way to represent this is 54 divided by 9 equals 6. Nice job playing animal jumpers. Great work. Now we can see if there's treasure around here. Animal jumpers. Let's play. This is one of Peg Leg Meg's favorite. <laughs> Lion made four jumps. Where did lion land? Type the number where lion landed and then click OK. Right on! Four jumps of nine lands on 36. Pig made five jumps. Where did pig land? Good job! Five jumps of four lands on 20. Let's try some with the multiplication symbol. Frog made five jumps. Where did frog land? Type. Woohoo! One way to represent this is five times five equals 25. Monkey made four jumps. Where did monkey land? Excellent! One way to represent this is four times ten equals forty. Nice job playing animal jumpers. Arr, you're a fine mathematician, you are. Excellent work. We found a map piece. Pick another area to continue playing this story. Animal Jumpers! Let's play! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Here's a challenge for ya! Dog made seven jumps! Where did dog land? Type the number where dog landed and then click OK. Excellent! Seven jumps of eight lands on 56. Dog made eight jumps. Where did dog land? Good job! Eight jumps of eight lands on 64. Let's try some with the multiplication symbol. Turtle made seven jumps. Where did turtle land? Type the number where turtle landed and... Good job! 
One way to represent this is 7 times 2 equals 14. Monkey made 6 jumps. Where did monkey land? Woohoo! One way to represent this is 6 times 10 equals 60. Nice job playing animal jumpers. Well, you blew me away again, didn't ya? You found a token! Super job! You found an adventure friend! You can play with your adventure friend in my house anytime! Keep playing to uncover the clue you're looking for! Animal jumpers! Let's play! Are you ready? Get set! Go! Dog made eight jumps! Where did dog land? Type the number where... Do Excellent! One way to represent this is 8 times 8 equals 64. Deer made 7 jumps. Where did deer land? Awesome! One way to represent this is 7 times 11 equals 77. Let's try some with division symbols. Deer made two jumps. Where did deer land? Type right on. One way to represent this is 22 divided by 11 equals 2. Turtle made two jumps. Where did turtle land? Way to go! One way to represent this is four divided by two equals two. Nice job playing animal jumpers. Great job. Let's search for a piece of the map. Group it. Let's play. This is one of Peg Leg Meg's favorite. <laughs> Choose a group that could make 18 and drag it to the mat. How many? Good work. Choose a group. How many groups? Let's start over. Choose a tile that could make 33 and drag it to the mat. How many groups?
Eureka! Let's try some where I hide the total. Drag a group that could make 22 to the mat. How many groups of 2 are needed to make 22? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Awesome! Choose a group. How many groups of 4 are needed to make 24? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Good work! Good work making groups of tiles! Shiver me, Timbers! You didn't! Well, blow me down, a piece of the treasure map. Pick another area to continue playing this story. Let's search for a piece of the map. Group it. Let's play. Let's get started. Choose a group that could make 16 and drag it to the mat. How many groups of 4 are needed to make 16? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Right on! Choose a group. How many groups of 3 are needed to make 18? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Good job! Let's try some where I hide the total. Drag a group that could make 21 to the mat. How many groups of 3 are needed to make 21? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Eureka! Choose a group. How many groups of 3 are needed to make 6? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Good job! Good work making groups of tiles! Avast! You did it! You found a token! Group it! Let's play! Ha <laughs> ha! Here's a challenge for you. Choose a group that could make 24 and drag it to the mat. How many groups of 8 are needed to make 24? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Good job! Choose a group. How many groups of 7 are needed to make 35? Type the number of groups and... Good job! Let's try some where I hide the total. Drag a group that could make 18 to the mat. How many groups of 6 are needed to make 18? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Excellent! Choose a group. How many groups of 7 are needed to make 21? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Good job! Good 
work making groups of tiles. Blow me down. You've played like a pirate. Group it. Let's play. Let's get started. Choose a group that could make 28 and drag it to the mat. How many groups of 7 are needed to make 28? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Right on! Choose a group. How many groups of 11 are needed to make 33? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Awesome! Let's try some where I hide the total. Drag a group that could make 30 to the mat. How many groups of 10 are needed to make 30? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Way to go! Choose a group. How many groups of 8 are needed to make 24? Type the number of groups and then click OK. Woohoo! <laughs> Good work making groups of tiles! Great job! Good job! We found a piece of the treasure map! We did it! We have all the pieces! Now let's put this map together! Alright, now we know where the treasure be! Ahoy, Smelly! Captain, is that you? You found me! I knew you'd come! Aye, we found your note. We're glad to have you back, lad. I got another thing I bet you're glad to have back as well. Wait right here. Ha <laughs> ha, aye, we're glad to have this back as well. Thank you for taking care of it for so long, Smelly. Aw, oh, it ain't nothing, Captain. And thank you for helping us find Smelly and the lost treasure. We'll be seeing you around, matey. Congratulations! You've won a certificate! You can see it and print it in my house!